Do you ever find it difficult to know whether or not you're playing in time? Maybe you don't yet have the confidence to lay down a solid groove with a band. Or sometimes it's just hard to tell if things are speeding up or slowing down. Of course, the metronome is by far the most powerful tool that you have for improving your groove on the drums. But are you really getting the most out of your metronome? Today, I'm in New York and I've got my friend here who's gonna show you three awesome ways you can use a metronome so that you can have rock solid groove. What? Well, hey guys, I'm Nate. I have a little channel called The 8020 Drummer. Today, what I'm gonna do with Jacob sitting right here, making me slightly self-conscious, is I'm gonna try to teach you guys three metronome placements. They're probably gonna be a little bit more random and advanced than Jacob's expecting. But I promise if you stick with me, they'll be fun. And even if you're just a beginner, start with the first one and then see how you go and you more advanced guys can get something out of the more advanced ones. So the first metronome placement I'm gonna show you guys is something I call macro time, which is just instead of having the metronome on every quarter as you would two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're going to reduce the number of clicks the metronome gives you. And the reason we're gonna do that is because if you're getting less input from the metronome, that forces you to make a guess about where the pulse is, and then the metronome will correct you. So you'll know if you're on or off the pulse. And that's really, really good for real life training because in real life, yeah, sometimes you're gonna have a click, but even in those situations, you're gonna to need to be assertive and lead a band and actually put the pulse where you think it is. So I've got the metronome set at 120, which is pretty common tempo, but instead of clicking on every quarter, first we're gonna start with it just on the off beats. So let's try it. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna play a basic beat with this metronome placement. For metronome placement number two, we're gonna turn things around and we're gonna give you more frequent inputs. So right now, Nate and I are running a joint coaching program for limited time only. And if you're interested in finding out more about it, click the link down below. We're actually offering free drum consultations. So click the link, sign up, we'll give you a call and we can have a chat about your drumming goals and how we can help you achieve them. So actually what we're gonna do is it's still 120, it's on quarters. In case you don't have a fancy metronome that'll do eight note off beats, we're just gonna change where our ear hears this. So instead of two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're gonna hear it and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And you'll notice I did something with my lead hand, which is I played the hats on the eighth note off beats. That's a real simple hack if you're just getting into this off the beat metronome placement, especially when you're having it click more frequently, like on eighth off beats or even 16th off beats. If you can have part of your body actually play along with the metronome, it's a way to cue your ear in faster. And then when you wanna play, Your, your ear is already trained for it, so you're hearing it in that spot. So obviously there are levels to this game, right? You can just play a simple rock beat. You can improvise in eighth notes. You can even improvise in 16th notes. So this goes really, really deep, but this will help make your subdivisions more consistent. Meaning like when you're playing eighth notes, You really want to be able to play that da 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 with the same amount of space in between each subdivision. And of course, some drummers will have a push or pull on that, but that's advanced stuff. For basic stuff, we want to be able to play it with the same subdivision. So, gonna give you the third metronome placement now. So that's in a slow bar of three with the metronome clicking on dotted eights. So let me take you through how we'll count this. One, two, three. One.
Okay, so obviously I started with a really basic beat there and it kind of got more complex as we played it, but you can choose your level of engagement with that. The important thing is just that your ears hearing it there and it's an even more unorthodox place for the metronome to be because if you're only hearing it in the expected place, then you're not gonna pay as close attention to it. So guys, this may seem out of left field and pretty advanced for some of you. For you beginners, I'd recommend you work on just the first exercise, but the general point here, and it's one that Jacob talks about a bunch too, is that by moving the metronome off the beat, forcing ourselves to define the pulse, make a guess about where that is, and then correct ourselves with the metronome. And also by having the metronome in unexpected places that draws our attention to it better is a way to really drill down and save yourself time the next time you're practicing time. What? Nate and I have also filmed another video over on his channel, so make sure you go check that out. I'm gonna link that here. Also, if you want more information about our joint coaching program, click the link down below and apply for your free drumming consultation. Not sure how long we're gonna be doing this together for, so if the link still works, you're good to go.